Hi everyone, here is just a brief introduction of myself. My name is Kiran Tan and I am from Paper Secondary School. My team name is PHSS CRFS13 and my team ID is SG1613. I am 13 this year and I started robo learning robotics in Primary 5. My robotics achievements are 2019 East Zone Robotics Challenge, 2nd place, 2019 National Robotics Competition, 3rd place for Best Content Award, WRO ca Primary Category, and 2019 World Robotics Tournament, Best Mechanical Design, 1st Runner-Up. This is me. The task is to program a robot to obtain the highest possible number of points in 5 minutes by travelling around the map to collect red, green and black gems and depositing. Bonus points are obtained if the robot collects the following combinations as indicated in the table. During the programming, I faced the problem of time constraint. To save time, the robot was programmed to drive through the trap at speed 100 when it is not carrying any gem. Once the robot carries 5 gems, it would be programmed to deposit them. This will allow the robot to get a higher chance of getting the combinations with bonus points RGB or RRGGB, thus further increasing the number of points. After troubleshooting the program many times, my robot gets better scores than before. To complete the challenge mission, the robots needs to be programmed to carry out a series of mini tasks. In this case, these are actions that the robot needs to take to maximize the points collected. The tasks are mission specific, so if there is a change in the challenge mission, then the mini task would need to be changed accordingly. For example, if the challenge mission is to collect the maximum number of red gems, then the mini task needed would be different from the ones programmed here. The video shows that the robot only deposits the gem when it has collected 5 or more gems. I use two different tools to develop the algorithm. First, I map out the task or actions to be taken by the robot in sequence. Then, I translate these into pseudo codes before I code them into my program. Doing so helps to work out the logic for this task and allows easy debugging later on. This is a short video showing my robot in action using the algorithm I developed.
Most of the time, the robot would go according to my program. But sometimes, the robot may not go according to the program due to errors. I would then need to go back and check through the algorithm and codes to make sure that they do not contain errors or incorrect logic. After I revise the algorithm or code, I would do a few test runs to see if the robot goes correctly. After more than 5 hours, I finally came up with my final program. It was my final program that allowed me to get my highest score, 1540. I have not used other methods to solve the task as I find that my program is suitable for the mission challenge. As a further step, I will explore the use of XY coordinates to help me get better scores and better chances of hitting the bonus combinations of gems. It should allow the robot to be directed to the specified XY zones and collect the desired gems. This is my first experience programming for a core space robot. I have picked up new knowledge about programming for robotics. I am grateful with the opportunity to participate and to learn from my peers and improvise my program. There were many satisfying moments when they when the improvised robots broke the number of re the record number of points, but at the same time, some periods of disappointment and sadness when the robot did not go according to the program. To other co-space game players, I would like to share a key learning point from me. Great patience is needed when we program. As the saying goes, slow and steady wins the race. Brushing through your program leads to more mistakes which affects the performance of your robot. Thank you for your time.